Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hanging with me tonight for another video. If you've liked, commented, or subscribed, that really helps me and the channel out a lot. So thank you guys for doing that. All right, so here is one of those baits that I thought was just a Florida bait until I moved to Alabama and realized that if you have some type of lowland reservoir, like a flatter lake, not maybe a rocky mountain lake, but your flatter lakes that typically have cover in them, a speed worm is going to work all over the country. So if you're fishing ponds or you just have that reservoir that has banks that are 12 to four feet of water, this is a killer bait. Now I rigged this up with uh, all different types of sinkers. Usually three eighths is gonna be the heaviest I go and three sixteenth is gonna be the lightest, but a quarter, great in that five to eight foot range. A five sixteenth is great in that eight to 12 foot range. Anything deeper, three eighths, and then anything shallower than five feet, I like a three sixteenths. Now, I always put a four, four aught rather round bend worm hook on there and then any color speed worm you want. This is just the regular ultra vibe speed worm. But here's the deal with this bait that I think a lot of people uh, don't necessarily throw it uh, in. So in the earlier parts of the year, it is a great pre-spawn bait. I've caught bass on this bait, 55 degree water temp. Maybe you have a real heavy warming trend. You know, you just get unseasonably warm weather in the month of March, like 80 degree weather. And there will be a few fish that go dirt shallow to spawn. And that's when I've caught them on this bait earlier in the year. But this time of year in the summer, it is a staple every year for me. And what I find you can do with this bait that you really can't do with a lot of other baits is you can catch those fish that let's say are in that like six foot range. They're not real actively feeding fish. They are biting. You know, they are on these spots to feed, but they're kind of just sitting there. They're sliding off the spot. They're getting up. So what, what I find is if you just go fishing with this bait, fish points, fish humps, fish any type of shallow flat that is in two, two feet of water out to, let's say, six or eight feet of water, and then it kind of falls off into deep water, guys will come by and try to graft those fish and they'll see those fish they'll see them when they're suspended off the ends of this structure that's typically when those fish aren't going to bite now what happens is when you do graft over those fish you've already kind of messed it up it's pretty much over those fish that are you're, you're seeing are not the ones you're going to be able to catch because they're out there just relaxing they're not in a feeding mode now when they're up shallow and i can catch them on that speed worm they're biting they're up there to feed so a lot of times if they're up in like two feet of water i'll probably throw a top water but then they'll just kind of get on the side of that structure and a speed worm is a perfect deal this is not a electronics type offshore fishing but i've caught a lot of fish doing that and then i see these guys graph over them and, and i never see them catch them so it's one of those deals you got to sneak up on them with the speed worm now also a great way to catch bass on this bait is you may be fishing shallow. I like to fish shallow 12 months out of the year, so this is very beneficial to me. So if I'm fishing shallow, and let's say I'm in a big lily pad field or something like that, if you have a creek channel that kind of bends into your, your shallow area, if you pull out into that creek channel and make a few throws at that shallow cover that is in that deep, you know, right on the edge of that deeper water, a lot of times in these hotter months, you will have fish pull out and try to get in the deepest water closest to shallow cover. That is a perfect spot for summertime bass. And, and it mixes very well. So you may be spending your entire day shallow and just said, they're not biting, I'm struggling. I'm gonna pull out and just make a few throws. And that's typically a good way to just pick up another fish, a good, great summertime technique that I love. But this is one of those baits not just a spawning bait, not just a bait that you're going to fish, uh, you know, in, in a few situations. This is a bait that you can fish in all situations. So try this. This is something that's tied on my rod once it gets 55 degrees all the way up into the fall when they stop biting soft plastics. And if you live, you know, Florida and, you know, down here or something, or you live on a tidal fishery, uh, they're always biting a worm. So this is a bait that you should always have tied on. It's one of those deals where when this came out in 2005, it was revolutionary in soft plastics. We now have a bait that has the thump and the kick of a spinner bait, but it has all the benefits of a soft plastic worm. So if you haven't tried it, a Ultravive Zoom Speed Worm, a killer bait. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the water.